Good morning. Welcome to Morning Special. 여러분 안녕하세요. 10월 14일 월요일 최수진의 Morning Special입니다. 월요일에 40대 중반 걸음걸이를 보면 건강이 보인다고 합니다. 40대 중년의 걸음 속도가 신체와 두뇌의 노화 정도를 반영한다는 연구 결과가 나왔는데요. 보통 걸음 속도는 65세 이상 노인의 체력을 평가하는 지표로 활용되고 있다는데 40대에서도 걸음 속도가 느릴수록 신체가 빨리 노화하고 얼굴이 더 늙어 보이며 뇌 크기도 더 작은 것으로 나타났다고 합니다. 청취자 여러분 오늘도 힘찬 발걸음, 건강한 하루를 선택하시기 바랍니다. 1번 페데스트리안 2번 vegetarian. 오늘도 청취자 여러분의 많은 참여 기다리고 있습니다. 퀴즈 정답 보내주신 분들 중에 추첨을 통해서 총 다섯 분께 뉴욕 타임스 1개월 구독권 보내드리겠습니다. 또 여러분의 소식과 소감 그리고 방송 중 궁금한 질문 있으시면 보내주세요. 짧은 문자 50원, 긴 문자 100원에 샵 1045로 보내주시고요. 반디 게시판이나 카카오톡 플러스는 무료로 이용 가능합니다. Okay, then let's kick off today's show with today's global headlines. 세계 각국 언론사들의 어떤 헤드라인이 올라왔는지 살펴보는 시간입니다. Touch Global Headlines. Typhoon Hagibus has lashed Japan, leaving dozens of casualties and considerable damage across the country. 제19 태풍 하기비스가 일본을 강타해 피해가 속출하고 있습니다. European Union leaders may decide on an arms embargo on Turkey over its incursion into Syria as soon as next week. 유럽 연합 정상들이 터키의 시리아 공격을 이유로 터키에 대한 무기 금수 조치를 결정할 수 있다는 보도가 나왔습니다. Saudi Arabia has approved the deployment of some 2800 US forces as well as defense systems such as THAAD to the kingdom. 사우디아라비아 국왕이 미군 2,800명과 사드 등 방위 무기를 사우디에 추가로 배치하는 안을 승인했습니다. Pro-democracy protesters have hauled a statue known as Lady Liberty to the top of a famous Hong Kong mountain. 홍콩 시위대가 도시 전체를 내려다볼 수 있는 랜드마크 사자산 정상에 자유의 여인상을 설치했습니다. The president of Ecuador declared a 24-hour curfew and militarization of the country's capital Quito to quell ongoing protests. 에콰도르 반정부 시위가 격화하면서 수도 키토와 주변 지역에 통행 금지령이 발령됐습니다. And for the headlines and more this morning, I'm joined by Steve. Good morning, Steve. Happy Monday, everybody. Happy Monday. How was the weekend? It was great. You know what? I watched Joker. Mm, do tell. It was one of the best movies right? that I was really disturbed after watching. Oh, but interesting. Not, not in, a, in a bad way, but because there were so many different elements. It was very complex, so cleverly written. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm not great with violent movies. Yeah. And there was a bit of violence in the movie, obviously. Um, but, you know... The, the complex mind that you get to see inside Joker. They humanized him, they right? They humanized him, yeah. So even though you know from mm. years and years of watching Batman movies mm -mm -mm. that Joker is a terrible guy, mm -hmm. but yet you kind of feel sorry for him, right? Yeah, yeah. And at the same time, you know, I, I don't want to spoil this movie, but, you know, there are parts of this movie that, that made me think, oh, you know, uh, what if, yeah. you know? 
Uh, but anyhow, it was a great movie. I'm glad you enjoyed yeah, it. Yay, really that's did. fun. It's a, you know, when you recommend something to someone, yeah. albeit a song or an album or mm. a singer or a book or a movie or a mm. restaurant, and then they don't like it as much as you hoped, uh. you kind of feel bad and <laughs> yeah. responsible somehow. Mm. So I recommended this movie to you and to our listeners, mm -hmm. and I'm glad that you enjoyed it. I did, yeah. But again, a reminder, do not take your kids to this film. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a family-friendly movie. I, I went alone, and I was a little bit scared at certain points of the mm. movie. I would recommend if you're, you know, you're as much of a chicken as I am with these sort of movies, uh -huh. take someone, go with someone. But otherwise, great movie. Yeah, very nice. What were you saying about going for a walk? You slow yeah, down when yes. you get older? So, if you're in your 40s, you can now tell uh, how fit a person is, how healthy they are by the, the way they walk. And usually, this used to be a barometer they used for people over 65. Uh -huh. Now they can check this for people in their mid-40s and above. So, is it about your speed? Yeah, lots of different things. Posture, speed, but generally speed here. So, Steve, mm. I think you're about this age. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how fast or slow do you walk? Maybe compared to ten years ago. I don't know. I think I don't do, think. Do I've, you walk really slow? I don't or? think I've ever thought about that. Uh, but we live in a big city here in Seoul, yeah. right? But, you know, if you're say walking with a friend, mm. do they say, "Hey, Steve, you know, hurry up," or, or, or you know, do you walk faster than them, or do you just go at a normal average? I pace? think just a normal average pace, mm. but. I was going to say, when you live in a big city, uh, I think the pace is pretty quick, right? Yeah, if you've been to New York City, true. you'll notice that people walk on the sidewalk pretty yeah, fast. Yeah, They're going true. somewhere, right? Mm. So that could be a product of age or it could be a product of just the, the location that, that you yeah. live, right? Oh, okay. But I don't know. I guess I'll pay attention to that from now yeah. on. Well, they say if you walk too slowly compared to other people, yeah. your, your peer group, then there could be something wrong with you. Maybe I'm so old now, I'm simply dragging myself <laughs> along the sidewalk. No, I'm sure that's not the case. <laughs> All right, well, let us know where you like to take a stroll. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys today. But in the meantime, we're going to go over the headlines. Yeah, really nasty weather in Japan for headline number one this morning. Typhoon Hagibis has lashed Japan, leaving dozens of casualties and considerable damage across the country. 네, 제 19호 태풍 하기비스가 일본을 강타해 피해가 속출하고 있습니다. So Hagibis was the 19th named storm of the season. It was Saturday and early on into Sunday in Japan. The winds were at about 144 uh, kilometers per hour, really fast, right? And the numbers are not good. 35 killed, uh, 17 unaccounted for. That was as of Sunday afternoon, according to Kyoto News, and 166 people injured. 네, 그렇습니다. 사망자와 그 다음에는 지금 실종자 업데이트 소식을 지금 스티브 선생님이 전해 주셨는데요. 교도통신에 따르면은 사망자 35명 그리고 실종자 17명까지 지금 집계가 됐고요. 이 집계는 계속해서 올라갈 수도 있다고 합니다. The number of people injured uh, well above 100, 170 something I think mm. is, the, is the last report I read uh, I at least. Maybe you have more. Yeah, those numbers will be changing I'm sure. Sure, yeah. sure. And so torrential rains, flooding all across some of the hardest hit regions. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure if you saw any images of the news. I saw one I did, yeah. image of a man. He was on the second floor of an apartment building mm -hmm. uh, looking down onto the first floor. And I mean, the first floor of the building, if I were standing there, the water would have been up to my waist or even higher, I think. Yeah. Uh, I saw the images of, as well in the uh, Nagano prefecture around the bullet trains, the mm -hmm. water around the bullet trains and helicopters were plucking people off the top of mm -hmm. roofs trying to save them. Uh, 27,000 military troops actually and other rescue crews were deployed in relief operations, but it really was almost nationwide, right? 150,000, almost 150,000 yeah. homes in the greater Tokyo area were without power and running water too. Mm, 그렇습니다. 하기비스로 인해서 일본의 많은 지역이 이렇게 홍수에 뒤덮인 모습인데요. 어, 자, 그러면 인명 피해뿐만 아니라 한번 후쿠시마 지역 쪽으로 한번 가보도록 하겠습니다. Over in Fukushima, there was a report that some huge bags full of contaminated waste mm. were washed away oh, was that because the, of the floods. The dump area? The dump area, mm. yeah. Uh, apparently, there was some sort of a barrier, but this was broken because of the floods and these bags of waste. They ended up just 
going missing. Now they're unaccounted for. They are unaccounted for, but they're full of contaminated waste from the nuclear mm. plants. So that's worrisome. Yeah. This could end up in the Pacific. It's extremely worried. Oh my goodness, I didn't hear that report. It could go as far as the yeah. ocean. Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah, many people affected by this. Early Sunday, there was a report that 376,000 homes were without electricity. I gave you the Tokyo numbers before, mm. but the uh, nationwide numbers were that, and 14,000 without running water. So we said the uh, the numbers of uh, people injured and accounted for. I don't know if we can expect those numbers to go up, but cer- certainly a terrible situation in Japan. 네, 그렇습니다. 후쿠시마 그 원전 방사성의 오염 폐기물이 있었던 그 지역이 있는데요. 여러 가지 이제 자루 안에 수천 개의 자루 안에 이렇게 폐기물이 담겨져 있었는데 그 자루들 중에 일부가 홍수에 유실됐다고 합니다. 아직 정확한 수치가 나오지는 않았지만 어뭐 유실이 됐기 때문에 지금 여러 가지 우려가 나오고 있어요. Uh, hopefully we will hear more stats and figures coming out of Japan as the day goes on today. Let's leave that story there and go on to the second one. European Union leaders may decide on an arms embargo on Turkey over its incursion into Syria as soon as next week. 유럽 연합 정상들이 터키의 시리아 공격을 이유로 터키에 대한 무기 금수 조치를 결정할 수 있다는 보도가 나왔습니다. This is as early as this week actually if you consider that the week has started. Oh yes exactly that's right. 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 Yeah European Union governments are really upset. They've threatened sanctions against Turkey. Uh, they did that on Friday. Mm. They're very upset with Erdogan's warning that he would quote unquote open the gates and send 3.6 million refugees to Europe if the EU did not back him uh, in this serious situation. Right. And so uh, members of the EU, they're going to be gathering for a meeting on the 17th and 18th. They are. Uh, they've denounced this, though. Italy's Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte, he said Erdogan, he's, he accused him of blackmail mm-hmm. and said the military operation should end immediately. France proposed economic sanctions on Turkey. Sweden's parliament demanded an EU embargo, mm-hmm. arms embargo. Yes, but they are going to be meeting and these sanctions will be on the table, I'm sure. 네, 그렇습니다. 이제 weapons embargo라고 하는 게이 금수 조치를 말하는데요. 무기 금수 조치를 결정할 수도 있다. They may impose a weapons embargo라는 제목이 지금 여러 신문에서 보도가 되고 있습니다. 어, 그래서 오, 이번 주 17일 그리고 18일 브러셀스에서 EU 정상들이 모이게 됩니다. 이때 이제 무기 금수 조치가 결정이 될 경우에 이제 터키에 대한 어떤 제재라고 볼수 있겠고요. Already Germany and France have stopped military mm. shipments, so they're all trying to say Turkey stop. Yeah, and Brussels is really upset because they had a deal uh, from 2016 where Ankara would curb the arrival of refugees into Europe, and now this is the threat from mm. Erdogan that he will open the gates and also. So upset about money, I think, because the EU is spending 6 billion euros, that's about 6.63 billion dollars, on supporting Syrian refugees currently living in camps inside Turkey. Yeah. So to use this as leverage is unacceptable. I mm. believe I read the terminology saying, you know, you're weaponizing human beings or something along those yeah, lines. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I think the Kurds said to America, you've left us to be what was the word, slaughtered or something along those Mm. lines. But uh, nonetheless, you talked about camps just a few minutes ago. Lots of different camps across the Kurdish region where ISIS members have been detained. Mm -hmm. And in one camp, almost all of the 800 or so members have apparently escaped. The ISIS the detainees, ISIS, the prisoners. Yes, yes. there are t- many, many camps. And mm-hmm. one of those, um, almost all of the members of one of those camps have apparently uh, escaped. Goodness so me. We're that, was, that was a concern, that before, was a concern. before this began, and, and right? This is happening. Yeah. 네, 그렇습니다. 미군이 이제 크루드족을 mm-hmm. 더 이상 돕지 않겠다라고 하면서 터키가 아, 크루드족을 지금 공격하고 있죠. 이에 대해서 유럽 연합 정상들도 그만하라는 어떤 움직임으로 앞으로 터키에 대한 무기 금수 조치를 결정할 수 있겠다라는 얘기가 나오고 있습니다. In the meantime, Moving on to headline number three. This morning, headline number three reads as follows. Saudi Arabia has approved the deployment of some 2,800 U.S. forces as well as defense systems such as THAAD to the kingdom. 
네, 사우디아라비아 국왕이 미군 2,800명과 사드 등 방위 무기를 사우디에 추가로 배치하는 안을 승인했습니다. So while the U.S. has pulled out of Syria, mm. at least the Kurdish region, um, it looks like they may dispatch some forces in Saudi Arabia. We were we were chatting before the show and we were wondering if those are some of the same forces, as a matter of mm. fact, but we don't know the answer know, to that. Yeah. We were just guessing. Anyway, this deployment includes fighter squadrons, early detection aircraft, air defense systems. Systems, and these new forces will be joining the 200 American service members. They are part there mm -hmm. of the Patriot Air Defense Battery. Also, radar is sent to Saudi Arabia in late September will be supported by this move, and that was in that is in response to the September 14th mm -hmm. attack that the United States blames on Iran. 네, 그렇죠. 어, 앞서 지난달에 미국 국방부가 이제 사우디 핵심 석유 시설이 폭격 된 것에 대해서 후속 조치를 취하겠다 이렇게 발표한 바가 있었거든요. 그러한 조치로 지금 보여집니다. 미국이 추가로 이렇게 어 미군을 사우디아라비아에 배치 추가 배치하는 것에 대해서 사우디아라비아 측이 일단은 승인했다라는 것은 아마도 진행이 될 것으로 이렇게 볼수 있을 것 같고요. 이렇게 증언이 될 경우에는 사우디아라비아 주둔하는 미군이 한 3천 명 정도로 늘어난다고 합니다. Mm, so they're concerned about what they're hearing, uh, according to the United States, about mm. what they're hearing from their partners and their allies in the region about continued Iranian behavior. So this is a step for them to, uh, it's a security step, obviously. Mm. All right, we'll leave, leave that story there. Let's go on to our next headline. Pro-democracy protesters have hauled a statue known as Lady Liberty to the top of a famous Hong Kong mountain. 홍콩 시위대가 도시 전체를 내려다볼 수 있는 랜드마크 사자산 정상에 자유의 여인상을 설치했습니다. Lion Rock, have you visited? Uh, no, I haven't. It's a famous place it. to visit, mm. I think, in Hong Kong. And this statue, if you're wondering, depicts a female protester in a gas mask, protective goggles, and a helmet with an umbrella in one hand and mm. a black flag in the other, proclaiming the protest slogan, Liberate Hong Kong, Revolution of Our Times. All of right. those things that the statue is wearing, if mm -hmm. you will, mm. are images, repeating images that we've seen numerous, numerous times from the protesters in Hong Kong. Right. And it's about three meters tall. Mm -hmm. uh, the protesters, they actually carried the statue up to the top of the mountain. It's actually quite impressive how they did this. The name of the guy who tr who created the statue, his name is Alex, and he's 32 years old. And mm -hmm. that's all we know about him because that's the only name that he gave the AFP. I see. He only gave his first name. Mm -hmm. uh, but he said that they had a team of 16 climbing professionals carrying mm -hmm. the statue in two main pieces all the way to the top and there were another 16 members that helped out carrying equipment and supplies, and they did this in the middle of the night. Mm, uh, they didn't want to get caught. They didn't want to get yeah. caught, and this is a very heavy statue, too. This is mm. 180 pounds, or about 80 kilograms, 네. and that's a pretty steep path up to the top as well. 그렇습니다. 지금 보이는 라디오로 영상을 통해서 자유의 여인상이라고 하는 Lady Liberty를 보여드리고 있습니다. 어, 자유의 여인상은요, 홍콩 시위대를 상징하는 어, 그런 이제 방독면을 쓰고 있고 고구를 또 쓰고 있고요. 한 손에는 우산을 홍콩 시위대 하면 이제 우산이 상징적이죠. 또한 손에는 홍콩 해방 시대 혁명이라는 구호가 적힌 깃발을 들고 있습니다. And something about uh, one eye um, signifies it was hit by a beanbag, which oh, actually really? happened to one of the protesters. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Uh, so we saw more uh, violence coming out of Hong Kong over the weekend. I'm not mm. sure if you saw the news reports about the shopping malls and 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 police rushing into the shopping malls, chasing some protesters, oh, and then shoppers in the malls mm. pushing police back. Mm. Yeah. So the violence continues. But an interesting side note, uh, just before we wrap up this mm. story, is uh, about Lion Rock. It's been a symbol of Hong Kong's democracy, pro-democracy movement for years. It's named so because it resembles the shape of a big cat. I and see. so that's the reason why they wanted to bring, the, that, that rock symbolizes what they're trying to achieve, and that's mm. why they brought, wanted to bring the statue up there. 네, 홍콩에 가보신 분들이라면 잘 아실 겁니다. Lion Rock, 유명한 산이죠. 이 정상에 이 레이디 리버티가 놓여졌고요. 참고로 이왜 여인이냐? 어 홍콩 시위 그 초반에 아마 기억나실 겁니다. 빈백 진압용 무기죠. 빈백에 눈이 맞아 가지고 시력을 잃은 여성이 있었는데요. 그 여성을 상징한다고 합니다.
Okay, let's move on to our final headline. All right, so the president of Ecuador declared a 24-hour curfew and militarization in the country's capital Quito to quell ongoing protests. Ecuador 반정부 시위가 격화하면서 수도 키토와 주변 지역에 통행 금지령이 발령됐습니다. Right, so 24-hour curfew uh, was because of increased violence. Mm. Uh, It's the, the first time in, in a couple of decades. Yeah, and things got kind of nasty mm. in the capital. Uh, they blocked off certain roads uh, to the airport, and the TV channel uh, Tele Amazonas showed images of its facilities in flames. Wow. Uh, protesters stormed in there, also stones being thrown at office windows. Uh, there were no reports of any employees being mm -hmm. hurt, so that's very good news. But by Saturday evening, the military had retaken control of the streets, uh, the streets that were leading to the National Assembly and the National Comptroller's office. Protesters uh, earlier on had broken into that building and lit mm. fires there. And we are now right. over a week of violent clashes 아, in Ecuador. 그렇군요. 벌써 이제 일주일이 넘었는데요. 뭐 정부 건물을 이제 불에 지르는 것은 물론이고 언론사 피습하는 일도 발생하고 그러다 보니까 어, 수도 키토에 이게 통행 금지령이 내려졌는데 이게 수십 년 만에 있는 일이라고 합니다. 한 30여 명이 또 체포가 되기도 했고요. Um, the president has said that you know he may come out with some sort of a, a strategy. Yeah, indigenous leaders uh, have agreed to meet actually, mm. and the UN said uh, via their Twitter account that the first round of talks was to take place on Sunday afternoon. So mm -hmm. President Marino he announced that there might be some potential amendments to the economic package that okay. had sparked the protests in the first place right. that people didn't like. Uh -huh. But one thing that he did say as well is that he did not go back on the decision to remove fuel subsidies. Uh, When we first covered this story, we mm. learned that that was the the big issue here is that mm. gas prices were, were doubling or, yeah. or more than doubling, sure. right? 맞아요. Mm. Uh, 운전자들이 특히 많이 분노를 하고 있는 이유가 지난주에도 말씀을 드렸습니다만 이제 주유비, 주, 주유값이 이제 두배 이상 뛰어서 어 굉장히 운전하기가 비싸졌다라는 얘기를 했습니다. 물론 이게 일부에 불과하지만 여러 가지 불만 중에 하나고요. 긴축 정책, austerity measures가 앞으로 어, 펼쳐질 수 있다라는 것이 대통령을 통해서 암시가 됐습니다. 음. Right. He also said too, last point here, that he would assess the effects of the cut in subsidies. So he's going to take a look at the financial, I guess, effects sure. and see if there are any changes will be made. Okay, well, those are our headlines for this morning. Let's take a short break as we remind our listeners of the quiz. Quiz question this morning. A person walking along a road can be referred to as, number one, a pedestrian, number two, a vegetarian. 네, 짧은 문자 50원, 긴 문자 100원에 샵 1045로 보내주시고요. 반디 게시판이. 카카오톡 플러스는 무료로 이용 가능합니다. 총 다섯 분께 뉴욕 타임스 일 개월 구독권 보내드릴게요. We're going to be right back after Tears for Fears. Everybody wants to rule the world. Good morning to everyone who's just tuned in. This is morning special, and let's go through your messages. 조소현님이요. Good morning. 이주 동안 Greece 하고 Croatia 여행을 하고 돌아왔습니다. Oh, cool. Yeah. 모스 들으니까 이제야 일상으로 돌아왔다는 게 실감나네요. Two weeks in Greece and Croatia. That's amazing. I think I could do okay with two weeks in Greece and Croatia. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. 가고 싶어요. I really want to go to Greece. I want to uh -huh. stay in that. You always see it. I forget the name of the little town, but the on the seaside, all it's all white. Do you Santorini. Know? Santorini. I've that's been there. Oh yeah. yeah, is it amazing? It is amazing. Uh, did you stay in the hotels that? Yeah, they're all carved out of stone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. I went there for my honeymoon, oh, so we wow. stayed in one of the nicer places. It's just amazing, and I heard that they repaint the, all of the buildings every year just to make sure it's yeah know, perfectly white. Why didn't you invite me <laughs> to my honeymoon? Yeah, we'll just hang out with you and your new husband. <laughs> <laughs> but it, I mean, it was amazing, and but strangely enough, I guess you get used to things over time because the local people living mm. in Santorini I said, "You're so lucky. Uh -huh. You live in this beautiful." beautiful part of the yeah. world where you see these deep blue oceans every day and mm. white buildings and they're like 
Eh, you know, it's just yeah. I don't see anything special. My <laughs> friend, uh, my friend Sarah, she's from New Zealand. She lives back in New Zealand mm. now, uh, but she moved to Thailand for about a year, I think, wow. before uh, she went back to New Zealand. And uh, she told me, yeah, you know, when you first get to Thailand and you're living there. Oh wow, the ocean and yeah. the sand uh -huh. and the palm trees, it's all beautiful. She said after six months, <laughs> the beach is just it's, sand yeah, and yeah. the palm trees are just trees <laughs> and the beach, the water is just water. Mm. Yeah, so maybe that's the key is that we just go there every once in a while so mm -hmm. it remains majestic to yeah, us, right? Yeah, I highly recommend going to Santorini. They actually mm. have a lot of um, like adult-only hotels, if that makes any sense. And this is because they want to keep it really quiet. Uh -huh. So you have to be like 18 years or older mm. in order to stay at a lot of the hotels there. Mm -hmm. And although now I have kids under that age and I can't go, if you don't have kids or if they're older than that, yeah. it's perfect. I see. Like quiet all day. How much are those rooms, by the way? Are they really expensive? Quite expensive. But during the off-season, yeah. you can get really nice discounts. I see. Yes. Well, we hope our listener had a great time on your trip, so mm. uh, so. 네, 저희도 어, 대리 만족을 좀 느껴봤습니다. 사진 바... 보내주세요. 네, Don't 보내주세요. just tell us you went to Greece and not show us any pictures. Yeah, and Croatia, I've never yeah, been. So same here. Yeah. 박윤정님요. Good morning. 매일 출근하며 듣다가 오늘은 곧올 아기를 위해서 집 정리를 위해 휴가 냈어요. 임신 9개월이라서 빨리 못 걷는데 뇌도 작아진 건 아닐까 걱정되네요.라고 보내주셨습니다. This lady is taking a day off today, preparing. For for the birth of her uh, child. Child, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's a human. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, birth of her what? Uh, child. Nine yes. months pregnant? Yeah. So in Korea, they say you're pregnant for 10 months. Oh, so really? So the calculation is different. Ah, I, I was going to say, don't go anywhere. Don't go for a walk. Don't, oh. Just stay close to home and get your bag ready to go to the hospital, huh? Yeah. So, yeah, anyhow, one month to go. Oh, just over a month, I think. They're due in December, apparently. Oh, so. I see. Mm. Wow, congratulations. Yeah, congrats. Have a great restful day today. We'll keep sending in those messages and answers. If you have questions, ask away. We have five New York Times one-month subscriptions to give out in the first hour. All right, so let's take a look now at our news focus stories. 자, 첫 번째 news focus 살펴보겠습니다. 세계 마라톤 1인자로 꼽히는 엘리우드 킵조개가 인류 사상 최초로 마라톤 풀 코스를 2시간 안에 완주했습니다. Let's listen to the story. 엘리엇 킵초게 became the first person in recorded history to run a 42-kilometer marathon in less than two hours when the 34-year-old Kenyan runner clocked in at 1 hour, 59 minutes, 40.2 seconds at a race in Vienna, Austria. Kipchoge's time won't be recognized as an official world record because it was not run under open marathon conditions. He was the only person running, and the race also featured a constant rotation of pacers. Kipchoge still holds the world record for men's marathon from his two-hour, one-minute, 39-second time in the Berlin Marathon 2018. Yes, it was a special marathon, but the distance was usually Marathon full course in 42.19 km, but marathon. 2시간 안에 마라톤을 완주했다는 것은 처음입니다. I was thinking about that. Iliad Kipchoge could start a marathon when morning special starts <laughs> and end and it. he'd be finished before you are. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's amazing, isn't it? Oh, I mean, wow. there is an asterisk uh, next to this record because, mm. like we said, it wasn't an open marathon. Yeah. They were using lasers. It was pretty interesting yeah, to show him the, the fastest spots on the road to run. Mm. There were also those pacers, we'll talk about those in just a sec, coming in to, mm -hmm. to help him know how fast he should be going but 네, still 그러게요. still it's still impressive 그렇습니다. 이 마라톤은 일부러 일리우드 킵초게가 그 2시간이라는 시간을 깨기 위한 그 목적 하나를 가지고 만든 그렇게 어, 설계를 한뭐 그런 마라톤이라고 볼수 있겠는데요. 실제로 1시간 59분 40초를 기록했습니다. 
Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's the time that he clocked in at. One hour, 59 minutes, 40.2. Uh, so to clock in, well, think about it. When, you, when a runner finishes a race, mm. then they have that official time, right? And they kind of punch it in, if you will. And I'll yeah, explain yeah. that in just a second. That's when a time right. becomes official, mm -hmm. that's when the time is clocked in. Mm. Now, what I mentioned just before about punching in, yeah. sometimes people with their work, when they go to work, they they have a little time card mm -hmm. and they go, tuk, tuk, in a little machine. 그래요, EBS도 그 uh, 카드를 대면은 oh, yeah? 출근했다는 기록이 oh, 남습니다. So, 아, 몰랐어요? No, I didn't, I didn't know. I'm not a Chiguan here. I'm an Arabite. <laughs> so, 그래서, 그래서 스티브 선생님이 아침에 들어오실 때 yeah. 어, 직원은 아니시지만 카드 찍으시잖아요. Oh, 네, 네, Somewhere 맞아요. on the database in EBS, they know exactly what time you come to work every morning. Well, that's very big, brother. 네, 다 알고 <웃음> 있습니다. 몇 시에 출근했는지. <웃음> so that's clocking in, mm. and then when you go home, it's clocking out. And it's the same idea as the context of the article. It's the official registered time. 음, 그래요. Clock in at 시간, 그러면 은 어떠한 시간을 기록하다라는 뜻이 있고 Punch in 이라는 것은 이제 mm -hmm. 출퇴근할 때 어, 출근 어, 원래 이제 출근 도장을 찍다 퇴근 도장을 찍다라는 데서 유래된 표현이지만 요즘에 이제 카드 찍는 것도 다 펀치인이라고 합니다. Yep. So a good expression is, you know, at the end of the workday, you can say time to clock out. 아 그렇군요. Yeah. Punch in, clock out. Yeah. Punch in, punch out. Punch clock in, in, punch out. 아, clock 같이. in, clock out. It's interchangeable. Yep. All right. Perfect. Okay. And they had some pace setters. Yes. So these pacers uh, would be people who would come in and it wasn't just one group of them. Nine. They, yeah, and they were in a rotation, <laughs> mm. uh, meaning one person would come, then he would go out, and yep. then someone else would come in, and then they would go out, mm. and it was a constant changing cycle of people, a constant rotation, right. helping uh, Kipchoge to keep his pace. We are now pace maker, and in English, pace setter. People who are working together together for 4 kms, 어, 그 교대를 하면서 킵초기 옆에서 같이 뛰어줬습니다. 그래서 rotation이라는 말인 여기서 이제 교대라는 뜻이 있고 교대 근무는 어떻게 될까요? What would you, how would you describe working in rotation? If that makes any sense, is there a word for that? Working in rotation. Um, so having different um, time slots where you go to work. One day you come in at nine, another day it's three p.m., another day it's ten p.m. Do you like, have a word for that? Uh, like working split shifts or something Sp like think, that. Yeah, I think that would where be the word. One day you work in. Now split shift mm. is when you go to work in the morning, then you go home in the afternoon and then ah. go back to work at night. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not entirely ah. sure. I'll try to find the answer mm. to your question. I guess neither. Okay, and of course he still holds the world record for the world uh, marathon. Yep, so to hold the record means to have the record. Same mm. meaning. 기록을 보유하다라는 뜻이죠. Let's listen to the story one more time. Iliad Kipchoge became the first person in recorded history to run a 42-kilometer marathon in less than two hours when the 34-year-old Kenyan runner clocked in at 1 hour, 59 minutes, 40.2 seconds at a race in Vienna, Austria. Kipchoge's time won't be recognized as an official world record because it was not run under open marathon conditions. He was the only person running, and the race also featured a constant rotation of pacers. Kipchoge still holds the world record for men's marathon from his Two hour, one minute, 39 second time in the Berlin Marathon 2018. <목소리도> 네, 만약에 교대 근무를 하실 경우에는 I work shifts 이렇게 표현을 하시면 되겠습니다. Ah, shift work. Yes, that's what I was talking about. But in Korean, we call it rotation work. Ah, Literally, if you translate it. I see, I see. Okay, let's go on to our next uh, news focus. 터키 정부가 쿠르드족이 통제하는 시리아 북동부 국경 도시를 공격해 인명 피해가 속출하는 가운데 지난 주말 프랑스와 독일 등 유럽 각지에서는 터키의 군사 작전을 규탄하는 집회가 열렸습니다. Let's listen to the story. 
Thousands of people took to the streets of Paris and other European cities on Saturday in protest of the Turkish assault on Kurds in Syria. Organizers said more than 20,000 people took part in the demonstration in Paris after Ankara stepped up its assault on Kurdish-held border towns in northeastern Syria on Saturday, defying mounting threats of international sanctions. U.S. President Donald Trump has faced a storm of criticism for abandoning a loyal ally in the U.S.-led campaign against the Islamic State group. Yeah, we talked about uh, the sanctions, possible sanctions coming yeah. against Turkey thanks mm. to or uh, because of Erdogan's decision. And it's not just governments, as we can see in this story, yeah. that are upset. It's, it's citizens, too. The sure. Individuals are very unhappy about this. Mm -hmm. So what does an assault mean? Right. So they are protesting the Turkish assault on Kurds in Syria. So an assault is an attack. Mm -hmm. It could be physical or mm -hmm. it could be verbal. I suppose it could be emotional as okay. well. Yep. But attack and assault uh, are interchangeable words mm -hmm. here. And uh, yeah, that's what's happening with um, Turkey and northeastern Syria. 네, 그렇습니다. 공격이라는 뜻이 있고요. 여기서는 침공이라고 보면 되겠습니다. Now, mounting threats have been coming in of international sanctions. If something is mounting, it's like building a mountain, right? Yeah. So if you have toy blocks and you put one block down, oh, Jenga, that's the game I was oh, trying yeah. to think of, right? Ah. <laughs> you, when you build it, when you're building it up, <laughs> mm. you're building that mountain, right? One block on top of the other, on top of the other, on top of the other. Mm. In that case, the blocks are mounting just like a mountain. Mm -hmm. But we use this figuratively mm. when we talk about things like threats. If we're talking about threats, it means one threat, then another right. threat, then another, then another, building mm. like a mountain. We hear this with pressure as well, mounting oh, yeah, pressure. That's true. Yeah, that's true. 그렇습니다. 뭔가가 계속해서 늘어날 때 mounting 뭐뭐뭐라고 표현을 할수 있겠고요. International sanctions라고 했기 때문에 이제 국제사회가 여러 가지 제재를 어, 내릴 것이다 라고 위협 위협 아닌 위협 뭐 뭐라 그럴까요? 여기선 트레트라고 표현이 돼 있지만 그 제재에 대한 목소리가 많이 나오고 있습니다. 그럼에도 불구하고 터키가 계속 공격을 하고 있다라는 뜻이고요. Uh, Trump has faced a storm of criticism for what he did. He, yeah. he left the Kurds. Abandon is the word that I saw used many times in the media. Yes, so he's facing a storm of criticism. I think this one must be pretty pretty easy to understand because when we think about weather and we think about a storm, yeah. a snowstorm or a rainstorm, a typhoon, something like that, mm. it's first of all, it's negative, right? That's the connotation. Sure. So when we say a storm of criticism, mm -hmm. criticism on its own is negative, mm. but a storm implies that it's really bad and there's a lot of it. 그렇죠. 뭔가 이렇게 쇄도할 때 a storm of 뭐뭐뭐라고 할수 있겠습니다. 여기서는 비난이 쇄도하고 있다라는 의미로 이해를 하시면 되겠습니다. Let's listen to the story one more time. <laughs> Thousands of people took to the streets of Paris and other European cities on Saturday in protest of the Turkish assault on Kurds in Syria. Organizers said more than 20,000 people took part in the demonstration in Paris after Ankara stepped up its assault on Kurdish-held border towns in northeastern Syria on Saturday, defying mounting threats of international sanctions. U.S. President Donald Trump has faced a storm of criticism for abandoning a loyal ally in the U.S.-led campaign against the Islamic State group. Let's now remind our listeners of the quiz. Quiz question this morning. A person walking along a road can be referred to as number one, pedestrian, or number two, vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In Canada, you know those black and white crossings? Uh, that on the people street? on the street. What do you call those? Crosswalk? Crosswalk. We have them here too, uh, right? <laughs> but I mean, what's the term you use in Canada? Oh. <laughs> I don't mean we don't have them here. I thought you meant those are specific <laughs> to Canadian culture. 
And no one else crosses the street <laughs> in other parts of the world. Uh, yeah, we call them a crosswalk. Mm. In, in England, we call them zebra crossings. I've heard that, yeah. yeah. I thought that was quite a clever term mm. to use, because that's exactly what it looks like. I think you also call them pedestrian crossings? Yeah, you can call it that, too. Mm. Most yeah. common term is a crosswalk, but yeah, mm. it's for pedestrians. 맞아요. 영국에서는 얼룩말 보도. Mm. <laughs> 횡단보도를 그렇게 부릅니다. All right, that was a hint. Uh, hopefully you got that. We will be right back after we listen to The Carpenters. We've only just begun. 자, 세 번째 뉴스 포커스입니다. 지난해 동굴 소년들의 기적적인 구조 스토리가 쓰였던 태국의 한 동굴 일대가요. 국립공원으로 재탄생한다고 하네요. Let's listen to the story. The rescue of a boys soccer team from Tam Luang Cave in Chiang Rai last year put the region in the international spotlight. Now the Thai government has announced plans to rename the cave as Tam Luang Kunam Nang Nong National Park. Since the miraculous rescue, the area turned into a sprawling tourist attraction, drawing over 1 million visitors since the 18-day ordeal captured headlines worldwide last year. There will likely enjoy renewed attention in the coming months with the motion picture The Cave depicting the rescue hits theaters in November and Netflix has announced plans to produce its own original drama based on the event. 50% less than what they're getting now uh -huh, thanks see. to this story and mm. like I said probably more because they're making this movie yeah uh, the cave mm. and also Netflix they're gonna have their own drama about this so it's ah. probably going to be a hot tourist attraction for a long time 그러게요 이 구조 실화 영화가 다음 달에 개봉한다고 합니다 영화가 개봉되면은 아마 관광객이 더 많이 몰릴 것으로 그렇게 기대를 하고 있고요 실제로 이 동굴 안에 그첫 번째 지하 공간까지 한 100m에서 200m 정도 가량 직접 들어갈 수 있다고 하네요. Now, a lot of heroes in this story. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Now the region is in the international spotlight. They are in the international spotlight. So think about it. If a spotlight is shining on something, mm. right, then that is the focus. Mm. Then you are the one that the, everyone is paying attention to. If you, if mm. Sue is on a stage, right, <laughs> and Sue is. Uh, giving a performance of what was that song you sang from the musical a couple of weeks ago? I don't know. What did I sing? Something uh, from Greece. Anyway. Oh, you're the one that I want. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's the one. So <laughs> Sue's giving her best. You're the one that I want performance on stage, and there's a spotlight on Sue. Mm. And when the spotlight is on her, all the attention, all the focus is on her. Just like this area in Chiang Rai, when this news story happened, the international media community. All stories were focused on that, right? Mm. So there, you, therefore, you could say the area was in the spotlight. 네, spotlight는요, 우리 그핀 조명처럼 딱한 곳에만 조명이 딱 집중적으로 있는 걸 spotlight라고 하는데 그런 식으로 뭔가 주목을 받는다 이런 뜻이고요. It was a miraculous rescue. Yeah, miraculous. This is a tough one to pronounce, I think. Miraculous. Mm. So four syllables there, and it comes from the word miracle, right? Right. So this rescue was almost like like a miracle. It was. So therefore we describe the rescue as mm. miraculous. 네. If uh, your favorite baseball team is playing uh, in the playoffs mm. and they are losing 6 nothing in the 8th inning, but they come back to win 7-6 mm. in the bottom of the ninth. Mm -hmm. That's almost like a miracle, right? Yeah, that, that is a mi miraculous. A miraculous victory or a miraculous comeback. Aha. Mm. 네. 기적적인이라는 뜻의 miraculous가 여기서 쓰였고요. 구조가 정말 기적적이었습니다. Now, they are likely to enjoy renewed attention. Yes, renewed attention meaning 
getting attention again. Mm -hmm. So we mentioned that there will be this motion picture, this movie called The Cave, uh, and also the Netflix drama mm -hmm. as well. Right. So the area, when the story happened, it got a lot of oh, attention. The, the area. Oh, that's what this was. Mm -hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. There's uh, a bit of a typo there. Yep. Yeah, the area will mm -hmm. get uh, attention once again. Mm. Therefore, we say renewed attention. Mm, 그렇죠. 다시 관심을 받을 것이다. 주목이 될 것이다. 라는 뜻의 renewed 라가, uh, 라는 단어가 여기서 쓰였습니다. Okay, let's listen to this story one more time. The rescue of a boys' soccer team from Tam Luang Cave in Chiang Rai last year put the region in the international spotlight. Now the Thai government has announced plans to rename the cave as Tam Luang Kunam Nangnon National Park. Since the miraculous rescue, the area turned into a sprawling tourist attraction, drawing over one million visitors since the 18-day ordeal captured headlines worldwide last year. The area will likely enjoy renewed attention in the coming months. The motion picture, the cave depicting the rescue hits theaters in November and Netflix has announced plans to produce its own original drama based on the event. Now let's check the answer to the quiz. Uh, answer to the quiz is as follows. The person walking along a road is... I was singing because I needed time. <laughs> or because you just like to respond to my lovely singing. <laughs> a person walking along a road is number one pedestrian. 네, 1번 보행자를 뜻하는 단어입니다. 어, 건강하기 위해서는 경쾌하게 또 힘있게 걸어야 된다고 하니까요. 우리 모두 오늘 힘있게. 걸으시길 바라겠습니다. 1번 정답 맞춰주신 분들 임이정님, 문수민님 2630끝번호 쓰시는 분과 9617끝번호 쓰시는 분 그리고 카카오톡 플러스로 홍모모라는 아이디 쓰시는 분 모두 축하드립니다. 뉴욕타임즈 1개월 구독권 보내드릴게요. Let's look at another message before we go to your expression of the day. 음. 이소연님 says morning special 들은 지 얼마 안 됐는데요. 너무 재밌어요. 영어 공부 열심히 해 볼게요. 하셨습니다. That's awesome. Yeah. The show, the show has been around for so many years. Yeah, no. But I love it when it gets new listeners too. Yeah. There's always new listeners Absolutely. coming. Combined with the listeners who have been listening since the late 1990s, right? Mm. And at the end of the day, that's all we want you to do. Have fun. So I'm glad you're enjoying the show. Absolutely. All right. Well, Steve, what is today's expression? Can we do one that we didn't cover just sure. from this last story? Yep. Um, talking about the Thai story. Mm. And a million visitors visit the area since this ordeal captured headline. So okay. ordeal is the word that I want to talk about mm -hmm. here. If something is an ordeal, it means that it's a very stressful mm. situation. It's a pain mm -hmm. that you have to deal with. Yeah. If you go to the airport, mm -hmm. right? And so someone asks you, oh, how was, how was your European vacation? Mm. How was your Greece slash <laughs> Croatia. Croatian adventure? <laughs> so Hyun Shi. And she says, mm. oh, my goodness. When I got to the airport, I realized that I forgot my passport. <gasps> so I called my friend. They had to pick up my passport and emergency deliver it to my house. Mm -hmm. But then when I got to Greece, I didn't have the right documentation. I didn't have the right visa. I don't know if you need mm. a visa. Anyway, the example. I didn't have the visa. So I needed to get interviewed in the office. Oh, the whole thing was such an ordeal, mm. such a pain, mm. such a difficult, stressful situation mm. to deal with. 네, 오디얼이라는 것은 굉장히 힘든 일 또는 시련을 뜻합니다. 이렇게 어려운 일을 겪었을 때, it was such an ordeal 이렇게 표현을 할수 있어요. Do you need a visa for Greece? I don't know. Well, that's why Sohyun she had no problem. To be. You don't need one. Just come in. So he was saying, "No, I don't have the right visa." <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Steve, for that. You're very welcome. Have yourself a great Monday. Yeah, you too. See everybody tomorrow. All right. Well, coming up in hour two, we have "Say What" and books with Paul Matthews taking us there. Now is the Moody Blues by Gemini Dream.